The range of engines includes 1.2 and 1.6 liter petrol units, as well as a 1.3 liter turbo diesel. In the Russian market, the car was officially offered only with gasoline engines. These units are equipped with a timing chain drive. Unlike competitors, the chain is very reliable and durable. Maintenance of motors is reduced to the periodic replacement of oil and filters. In the secondary market, absolute dominance was established by versions with a 1.2-liter gasoline aspirator. Its 94 horses quite easily cope with a mass of about 1,000 kilograms. The car is quite dynamic and economical. In the urban cycle, it consumes less than 7 liters per 100 kilometers, and on the highway it is easy to get a result in the region of 5 liters. 1.2 has a simple and reliable design. The K12 V series unit was developed on the basis of the previous 1.3 liter engine. It uses a variable valve timing system on both shafts, and in some versions, a start-stop system. Its only drawback is the failure of the coolant pump pulley. The disease is typical for cars of a certain batch. The reason is an incorrectly tightened pulley. The 1.6 liter aspirated is a little more voracious. He asks for about 9 liters in the city and 6 liters on the highway. The appetite of the motor increases with the active work of the gas pedal, which happens quite often. The 136. Very bouncy horses. Provide incredible driving pleasure tempting the driver to move more and more dynamically. The most economical, of course, is the diesel version. In the city, diesel consumes about 5 liters of fuel, and outside the city up to 4 liters. However, the 1.3 turbo diesel under the hood is exotic. The engine was developed by Fiat, and from the experience of operating on other machines, sometimes the timing chain needs attention. Engines with a capacity of 1.2 and 1.3 liters were combined with a 5-speed manual, and 1.6 with a 6-speed. All motors were aggregated with a 4-speed automatic. The mechanics were the weak point of the predecessor, bearings wore out. Although some modernization has been carried out, failures still occur. Symptoms, noise and difficult gear shifting. Fortunately, repairs are not too expensive. One of the main causes of failure is transmission fluid. The declared service life is 150,000 kilometers or 10 years, but in reality the oil in the box should be updated every 40,000 kilometers. As for the machine, nothing is heard of serious problems. McPherson struts are used on the front axle and a torsion beam on the rear axle. Regardless of the engine version, the Swift makes a good impression on the move. The emotions behind the wheel of the 1.6 liter version are especially strong. There is a more elastic suspension and less roll, which is noticeable when cornering quickly. The electric power steering pairs well with the suspension settings. A relatively vulnerable element is the suspension arms, in which silent blocks wear out quickly. Over time, a knock may appear in the steering. Sometimes two big wheels lead to this. Corrosion although it occurs, is extremely rare in the corners of the rear fenders and in the area of backslash U200B backslash U200 wheel arches. Sometimes the alternator bearing starts to make noise. From time to time there were problems with the heating mats of the chairs. In addition, the company covered the cost of replacing the ESP actuators and replacing the brake lines. They were located too close to the engine mount and there was a risk of damage. The rest of the car will not disappoint. There are practically no reports of serious malfunctions. Salon Swift in its capacity does not differ from its competitors. There is enough space in the front, but it is already cramped in the back. The car, of course, is not suitable for long-distance travel with comfort. The trunk volume of 211 liters is quite suitable for everyday tasks. Even large purchases will fit there. The execution of the interior is good. Decor elements harmonize well with each other, but the plastic in the cabin is too hard. The design is typically Asian, simple, without superfluous fireworks. The central element is the radio display, under which the air conditioning control panel is located. The Suzuki Swift was well equipped as standard. Standard air conditioning, electric front windows, front, 
side and knee airbags, seven airbags in total. Here you can also find a four-speaker audio head unit, a system that suggests the moment of gear changes, and a display that informs about the current time, fuel consumption, and driving distance. Later versions added cruise control, LED daytime running lights, alloy wheels, and a Bluetooth hand-free kit. This sport package also offered automatic climate control, ventilation for the legs of the rear passengers and additional tweeters for the audio system. Sport versions of the Swift have a really long history and have always been appreciated. Particularly memorable was the 101 horsepower model introduced in 1986. The fifth generation of the Sport debuted in the fall of 2011. This version uses petrol 1.6 M16A and a six-speed manual gearbox. Power 136 horsepower will not be able to fulfill the cherished dreams of an athlete, but a simple engine guarantees reliability and low cost. Fortunately, the engineers did not stop at the power unit the car has a lowered suspension and improved appearance. The length has increased by a few centimeters and 17-inch wheels are installed. Interesting additions can also be found in the cabin, a steering wheel trimmed with soft leather and sports seats. However, the changes are not so aggressive as to interfere with daily operation. The all-wheel drive Swift is another Suzuki tradition. It was decided to use a simple viscous coupling operating in automatic mode. Such a car does not pretend to be an SUV or crossover, but copes well with bad roads. The presence of all-wheel drive did not affect the capacity of the trunk.